You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we start with, who's this? Zookeeper. That's right, who's this? The hair. Hair, and this? Elephant and a giraffe. All right. Yeah. Zookeeper, the zoo. that's the zoo. Zookeeper loved all of her animals, but she was especially fond of hair, giraffe, and? Elephant. Elephant, that's right. She gave hair a handful of food. She gave giraffe a wheelbarrow full. Oh yeah, she fed them stuff every day. So she gave hair a handful of food. She gave giraffe a wheelbarrow full. And she gave elephant an entire truckload. Is that a lot? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. They all were healthy and happy because each day they had just enough. One day, they were lounging under the giant shade tree and each was speaking about how much zookeeper must love them. Hare bragged, did you know Zookeeper gives me a handful of feed every day and it's exactly enough. She must really love me. Do you think Zookeeper loves hair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Giraffe <laughs> laughed. <laughs> well, she must really love me because I get a whole I wheelbarrow know, food. What do you think of that? I didn't know, I didn't yeah? Oh, this is the same one. This is the same book. Mm -hmm. Do you see the wheelbarrow food? Uh -huh. Do you see the owl? Uh -huh. yeah. So what do you think? How do you think Hare's going to feel the giraffe gets a whole wheelbarrow? Uh -huh. Ooh, let's see. Elephant trumpeted out an even bigger laugh. Ha 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 ha! Well then, said Elephant, I must be the most loved of all because I get an entire truckload. Where's the truck? Do you see the truck? Uh-huh. That's right. Not fair! shouted Hare. Why should you two get so much more than I? Does Hare seem happy? Because she's, because yeah. he is smaller. He is small. And he That's can't. why he doesn't eat as much. He doesn't, but he's not happy because he's not getting the same amount. Yeah. Not fair at all, said Giraffe to Hare. Zookeeper must love Elephant more than us. What do you think? Does Zookeeper love Elephant and Giraffe more because she gives them more food? No. No? Let's see. Giraffe, Hare, and Elephant looked at each other in silence. Are they happy? No. No. But I know how to make things fair, said Giraffe. When Zookeeper gives us our food, we'll pile it all together and we'll split it evenly. Then things will be fair. Is that fair? Yeah? What do you think? Um, no, because then they don't have this, because then they're still hungry. Ooh, but they get the same amount. Won't that be fair? Yeah. And that's just what they did. The next day, they piled their food together and they split it evenly. Each animal got the exact same amount. And after eating about a handful of food, Hare was stuffed, but he still had a large mound of food left over. See? After eating a wheelbarrow of food, Giraffe was stuffed, but she still had a large pile of food. But Elephant ate up all his food, and he was still hungry. And he gazed at the piles of food that Hare and Giraffe still had, and he wanted to ask her somebody thought, well, fair is fair. And he walked around his pen, and his stomach was growling. Do you ever get hungry? Yeah, my stomach, my, my, my stomach growls. At my stomach, my stomach growls. Growls? Mine too. After several days, Hare became fat from eating so much. His leftover food towered over him and took up his entire living space. Hare thought, I might get buried alive soon. And Giraffe was also getting fat and she kept tripping over piles of leftover food. But Elephant, Elephant was the most miserable of all. He was very skinny and pale and he was always hungry and grumpy. And even though everyone said, well, fair is fair, none of them was healthy or happy. The zookeeper saw how the food towered over hair and how giraffe's knees were bruised and how elephant had become so skinny and grumpy. So she called a meeting under the giant shade tree. What's going on? The zookeeper asked. Giraffe explained how they all wanted to get the same amount of food so that everything would be fair. We don't want anyone to be loved more than anyone else. Is it fair for Elephant to be hungry while you two are buried in food? Asked Zookeeper. Is that fair? Do move. Yeah. The three animals thought about this. Hare said, no, that doesn't seem very fair. Elephant and Giraffe agreed that it wasn't very fair at all. Zookeeper went on. Fairness isn't when everyone gets the exact same. Fairness is when everyone gets what they need. And she gave a great big hug to elephant, giraffe, and hare. That's the hare. That's the hare. <laughs> and she gave each one just enough food. 
and they didn't care how much it was or how much the others received because each one knew that they were loved. See that? And that is the end. What do, what do you guys think? Is that a better solution? Yeah. Does an elephant need as much food as a hare? No, that would be still way yeah. too hungry. Well, do you know sometimes your brothers and sisters, they need things that are different from you? Do you ever say it's not fair when your, when your brother or sister gets something that you don't? Do you ever say, it's not fair? Do you ever say that? Mm-hmm. Well, does it mean that your parents don't love you? If you go no. to bed early and you stay up late, does that mean they don't love you? No. No, but each kid is different, right? And different kids need different things. In this case, different types of animals need different amounts of food. And even if Zookeeper loves them all the same, she gives them just what they need. So do you know that your parents give you just what you need? Yeah. That's right, so they love you. They love you all the same.